Jerry. When you get into character, you really get into character. Indeed. Theatrics is a crucial part of being a spy. So, what's today's assignment? Hmm? Ah, yes. I'll cut right to the chase. You're to investigate the disappearance of several teens internationally, starting with the most recent and most local. Sounds like a big job for a big person. A scrawny guy like me will probably just get in the way. Well, thankfully, Whoop has a brand new training program that will help you get stronger. You can start this afternoon if you wish. Awesome! I can't wait! Then without further ado, it's gadget time. Double awesome! First up is the grab-and-go invertible baseball glove. For safe and sanitary clue remote. Ah. Next, we have the amazing levitating propeller hat. For gravity-defying baddie dodging. Here, that's see no evil contact lenses. To protect you from all varieties of mind control. And finally, we have the bubblegum bomb in cherry cola flavor. Self-explanatory and quite delicious. <laughs> Excuse me, I have important things to do. <laughs> Before you go, girls, let us take a moment to reflect on the life-changing journey you are about to embark on. <clears throat> the seeds of knowledge that you plant today have the potential to yield a great harvest in years to come. And as the fruits of your labors nourish the body and Planting soul the of your seeds of collegiate success? Is he serious? I don't know, but I want football games and fun parties, not boring farm metaphors. I'm with ya! I said last one out of the jets are on Meg! Ah, hello, spies. I hope your trip to the museum was most educational. Yeah, I learned not to insult a three-ton dinosaur. There have been disturbances reported by the locals in this remote region of South America. I'd like you to investigate and report back to me. Disturbances? Could they be caused by any natural phenomenon? Unfortunately, the locals' transmission was lost before they could elaborate. Now, on to your gadgets. Lee, please make your selections. Let's oh. see. How about the fusion gloves? The quick calcifying malted milk balls? The zipline yo-yo? And... Hey, what's this one? The inflatable rubber ducky? Wait, is that some sort of a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> well, not at all. Snicker away, but that gadget may very well one day save your life. Off to the jet you go now. Yeah! There's no Professor Freeman at this university. And we were all like, uh, yeah, there is. And he was all like, cuff him. You're coming with us. That's utterly remarkable. That's not all that's remarkable. According to Whoop Records, Operation Vulture never existed. So we were actually just doing Operation Sam Clover Alex? It would appear so. Hmm. You'd better check this Fremont character's background. Looks like our world-renowned spy is really a spy reject. Seems like no one wanted him to be on their team. He was turned down by every respected spy agency in the world. Guess the F in Professor F stands for failure. So now the question is, what exactly did Fremont have a steal? The Inflatus Project. Dean Franklin mentioned that. So what is this Inflatus thingy inflate? Anything at once. It was designed as a top-secret weapon with the capacity to expand objects of any mass to hundreds of times their natural size. Well, now we know what was in the crate, but what would Fremont want with a weapon like that? My guess? He's planning on inflating his seriously sagging ego. <gasps> earthquake! That was no earthquake. Our terrestrial whoop sensors have detected that the planet has just expanded by 2%. Which means Fremont's using the device we stole to enlarge the planet! Awesome! Does that mean the beaches just got 2% bigger? Trust me, Clover, this is not a good thing. I've located the origin of the disturbance, Malibu University. Then we'd better get over there before he pops Earth like a balloon. You'll need some gadgets. Take the self-propelling exploding ink pen, the ever-expanding bubble gum, and the keys to the Whoop jet, which is equipped with Abwati suits. Sweet! The jet is for official business only, as in no joy rides to Paris. Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> I always thought Chair was a bit of a bird brain, and this totally confirms it! So, what's our assignment, Jerry? You're to investigate the mysterious disappearance of two of our most beloved Whoop agents. <gasps> what exactly do you mean by mysterious? Mysterious, as in vanished without a trace. One minute they were on a mission, the next minute they were gone. Jerry, this is Brittany. I think I might be onto something. <laughs> oh, 
Now, I'm afraid this transmission is all we have to go on. She was looking into the disappearance of an agent named Dean at the time. Too bad all we can see is the reflection from the glass window Brittany was looking through. Indeed. Now, allow me to access your gear. Lee, will you do the honors? Sure, boss. Today we have the pocket parachute, the rain or shine umbrella shield, Ooh, functional and cute, the ferocious flash button camera. Wow, impressive technology. And last but not least, the SSSSSSS. AKA the Stealthy Silent 7 Seater Supersonic Surfboard, the ultimate in sporting equipment. Awesome, instead of hanging 10, we can hang 7. Huh? Oh dear, it appears another agent, Blaine, is in danger. Don't worry, Chair, we'll take care of it. <laughs> now, off you go to Monaco. I'm beginning to think there's some evil conspiracy to prevent me from getting a tan. No conspiracy, Clover. Just a highly treacherous mission. You three are to escort an extremely dangerous criminal from Whoop's containment facility to our highest security penitentiary. If the criminal is so dangerous, why didn't you just put them in the penitentiary in the first place? Um, with the recent deluge of criminal masterminds, Whoop has been experiencing a little overcrowding as of late. Mm, exactly how dangerous is dangerous? Yeah, I may have an important date tonight, and I'd like to be around to enjoy it. Spies, meet the granny. That's the dangerous criminal mastermind? <laughs> What's she guilty of? Keeping her world-famous <laughs> cupcake recipe secret. Hmm. Aw, she totally reminds me of my own granny. I should give Nana a call. I miss her. Don't let looks fool you. The granny was one of the most notorious and ruthless bank robbers of her generation. You were being was. For your mission, you'll need the ultra-inflatable nylon tech vests, jet backpacks, oh. infrared motion detector sunglasses, and the pressure inversion snow spray. It's like hairspray, only much colder. No! <laughs> I doubt we need all this fancy stuff, Jer. After all, the granny is in her 80s. Sam's right. If we can't outrun a woman in big padded shoes, we should just give up now. I assure you, the granny is very cunning, so please be extra cautious. Your new vehicle should help. <laughs> Hello, spies. Hope I didn't interrupt anything. Nah, just a little comedy routine Megan was putting on with a skateboard. <laughs> I see. Well, the comedy will have to wait. There's some serious goings on in Dubai. We're getting reports of strange tremors and huge, inexplicable dust storms. Oh, that sounds amazingly boring. Have you got any fun missions for us to go on, Jay? Huh? Oh, sorry, fresh out of fun disasters as well as other spies. <laughs> huh? Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Mark, listen carefully. I need you to stop at the grocery store for me before you come home. But, Mom, I don't have time for that right now. Well, you're just going to have to make time if you expect to eat tonight. Pick up milk, eggs, tofu, parsley, and apple juice. Got all that? Huh? Oh, yeah, no problem, Mom. Way to go, Jerry. Does that thing do any daily chores? Unfortunately, like you, I suspect, it doesn't. It does, however, dispense gadgets. Today, you'll be getting the Stop in Your Tracks Taffy, a super sticky taffy that can gum up most anything, and the Instant Breeze sunglasses, outfitted with amazingly powerful mini fans, and the No Trouble Bubble Barrier. Thank you. Your jet awaits.